Hello everyone, my name is Adam Reeples Vox and welcome back to another OBS multi-platform or OBS studio tutorial. I've been doing a ton of these so if you missed any of them or you're looking for the rest, check the playlist link in the description below and you'll find all the videos along with a lot of helpful information and a link to our own Twitch page. If you want to come subscribe to us on Twitch and follow our live stream and all that jazz, be sure to smash that like button and let's get into the video. This video is brought to you by TunnelBear. TunnelBear is an extremely fast and cheap, or even free, way to protect and hide your data and IP address from unwanted spying. By hiding it behind a bear. TunnelBear also zaps away tracking cookies and allows you to tunnel through other countries to avoid censorship. It's fast, affordable, and even has a free option. Click the link in the description below to try it out for free today. This video is also brought to you by our contributors to our Patreon campaign. Our patrons contribute to our work via a small monthly contribution to help us build bigger and better projects, content, and collaborations, and they receive early access to our videos across all of our channels. Check the description or YouTube card now to check it out. In this video, we're going to be covering the way, the couple different ways I'm going to suggest to play music and include Skype or TeamSpeak audio in your live stream. A lot of people have been requesting this, and it's actually fairly simple. Now, one way is actually going to tie in, actually, both of these ways are going to tie into other videos. One is a video that's already like previous to this one in a set, and the other video or the other option is going to tie into a future video. The first way I'm going to recommend is actually to use Nightbot. Nightbot is an automated chat bot that will monitor your Twitch live stream and help keep it safe and keep spam out of it and things like that. I can do a separate video on that if you like. Um, but a feature of Nightbot is actually song requests and auto DJ. And what people can do is they can put in exclamation point song requests and then a YouTube video link and it will automatically start playing it if you have this tab up. And then you can control the volume from here. Basically your chat gets to determine what songs are playing and Nightbot just kind of automates the process. And then all you do is leave this tab open and it'll start playing it through your desktop. So then you balance that through your desktop audio slider here in your audio mixer in OBS. This keeps everything out of your hands and makes it very easily easy. Um, and then you can control the music volume specifically with these controls, which are also controllable through chat or yeah, through chat. Now, this is not a Nightbot tutorial, but I'm just saying this is the easiest way to have music going if you want your viewers to be able to suggest music and things like that is to have it going through here. And it's really convenient. But all you need to do is have that running through your basic desktop audio and it'll run through OBS just fine and get picked up. The second way is to actually run it through a secondary audio device. In previous videos, we've covered adding multiple audio devices to OBS. In certain audio playback um, programs, you can actually play your music through a secondary audio device. That way you're not hearing it through your speakers and it's not, you know, echoing in your microphone, but you still, you know, get to play the music and get to pick it up in stream. The other options are very dependent on your audio programs. Some audio programs let you play audio through secondary audio devices, so then you don't have to listen to it. Um, and this is actually hard to narrow down because iTunes itself does not support this. So I'm going to try it in VLC here. Yes, in VLC, for example, if you have a playlist going in VLC, I'm sure it'll work with like Winamp or something like that. If you go into your audio settings, choose audio device, then you can choose what it goes out. So if I make it go out this random digital output that I'm not using, I can play the music. I don't hear it. But then if I go into OBS and I change my audio settings to where my secondary audio, my secondary desktop device is that random audio device that I chose here click apply and click OK, it's going to start picking up that music audio. And so then you can play it through a secondary audio device, not listen to it to yourself, but still play it through the stream. Another way you can do that is very simple if you don't mind listening to it, which is kind of the normal way, and that's just to play it through your desktop audio. Assuming your desktop audio device is set correctly here in your audio settings, then any music you play back and you hear through those speakers the same as like your game sound or your desktop just noises, your stream will hear as well. So then you'll want to balance that in your audio mixer here. Pretty straightforward. Skype is a little bit different. And again, we covered a lot of this in the previous audio sources video, but Skype and TeamSpeak and things like that rely on, in most cases, on your communications device here. This is actually recording for your playback communications device. If you want to set that as your default device and not worry about balancing it, then that's fine. It'll just come out of your speakers. 
but you'll have to go into Skype here and go into Call, Audio Settings, and see what Skype's using. For example, Skype uses my webcam microphone, so I want to make sure I use that so Skype can hear me, but then it's using these line out speakers to play audio. So if I go back into my audio settings in OBS and make my secondary desktop audio device my line out, click apply, click OK, watch this audio meter down here. When I test the Skype audio levels, you see that little Skype meter here in OBS. That's very, very useful if you have headsets that have multiple audio tracks. For example, a lot of really fancy gaming headsets have the ability to where you can balance your chat audio and your game audio separately. Normally, if you're using that effectively on PC, your Skype is going to the chat audio part and your game's going to the game audio part. Well, that makes it more complicated for OBS, but not if you do it this way, because then you set that chat audio device, which will just be another little speaker device here as desktop audio too, and balance it separately. And it works out really, really nicely for picking up TeamSpeak or Skype or Ventrilo or whatever. This is a lot of hypotheticals because you have to have a very particular setup for that, but I just showed you it working with the Skype audio test there. So hopefully that was clear enough for you. Set up a secondary audio device as per the previous tutorial and then set that up as desktop audio too. Tell Skype to run through that. And as long as you can hear it, for example, that's through my headphones and I can hear it then it'll work and you can see the audio level here and send it to your stream as well. I do hope this video was helpful for you even though it's a bit convoluted. Be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for more awesome videos. Check out all the links in the description below. Come follow us on Twitch and check out our live stream. We do live stream ourselves and we're going to be live streaming a lot more here soon. And otherwise guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in a future video. You've just watched another epic tech video from me, Epos Vox. Consider crushing that like button and subscribing to the channel, that way you never miss an upload. Also, check the links in the description to follow me on Twitter and Facebook, and hit up our Patreon campaign for early access to videos. See you in the next Epic Tech video.